Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. We're here for another conversion corner and we're tackling yet another Primaris Space Marine. This week it's an Assault Intercessor from the Charnel Guard chapter. It's a reclusive fleet based chapter believed to be a successor of the Blood Angels. Now in between wars this chapter it often spends an awful lot of time in stasis. Uh, a lot of the fluff talks about them having uh, very large amounts of kind of heresy era gear that's in nigh on pristine condition and obviously they'll have fairly ornate um, armour as they've been around for some 10,000 years or so. So let's have a look at the bits I've pulled out of the bits box tonight for this guy. Obviously we've got a assault intercessor or in this case a regular intercessor that's going to get some assault weapons. Uh, I've pulled out a bunch of pieces there's one where's the other one I've lost one. Oh, there it is. I've pulled out a couple of pieces from uh, Lord Relictor from Age of Sigma. I think that's a shin piece and that's uh, the arm piece. Uh, they look really good and they should fit this guy pretty well. Fairly ornate shield with Terminator Honours. Uh, I 3D printed this, found on Thingverse. Uh, it's marked as Teeth of Terror. Um, it just looks like an exceedingly ornate chainsword. So that's pretty cool. I want to play on the kind of charnel guard uh, death symbology a little bit more and I'm going to try and replace his chest piece with this skull. Um, looking at it, it looks to like it's going to fit. We'll try that and see what happens. This is from a system of silence. It's um, kind of very heresy era style ornate armour. I just kind of liked it and it seems to fit the, uh, the, the aesthetic just a little bit. Uh, we're going to give him a plasma pistol because he's uh, obviously limited by the equipment that assault intercessors can have. Um, grabbed a corn berserker head uh, with fangs to kind of give those indications of him being from the Blood Angel bloodline. And a couple of these kind of Mark III style um, shoulder pads. Uh, they've just, again, heresy era, try and uh, give as much of that as I can. Um, Grabbed a skull on some cabling because uh, skulls, channel guard, it's kind of cool. Uh, I think that's from the Lizardman kit from Major Sigma. And of course, there's always going to be a bunch of purity seals because I love purity seals and I will stick them on any model going. Right then. First job is going to be try and sort this chest plate out and fit one of these shin guards to one of his legs, which is why I've not put the lower leg armor on yet. I'm going to tackle the chest first and I'm going to start by trimming this down and see if I can get it to fit. So looking at this, I'm, I literally want the front of the skull only. So we're going to try and strip all the back of it off uh, and get it to a point that I can fit it round the um, Space Marine's chest armour. So the most obvious point to go in is going to clip these bottom bits off here. I'm going to give it a little bit of space. In case we make a mistake. And then we'll start cutting down from the back, exceedingly sharp knife blade. Just work your way down it very gently. And keep fitting and fitting and fitting. Basically need to trim this down to as flat and as thin as possible. Uh, keep the main shape of the skull intact. And then on the Space Marine body, I have scraped off the chest eagle and then I've essentially just cut a straight line upwards towards the uh, this neck guard. And I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, but the skull should fit on neatly there. And as you can see, we've got a pretty good fit there. Just a little bit of cleaning up just to smooth out that chest and blend the two together. Next, we're going to take this Lord Relictor's shin plate. I've already cleaned the bottom of it a little bit just so I want to do some test fitting and we're going to wrap onto this leg here which just involves a strimming just a little bit off here to try and make it fit nicely. So really just taking this off. That'll do nicely. Finally before I stick this model to a base I'm going to drop on this tabard just back behind him here. Oh, it's not going to sit very well this is.
It's going to fit just behind nicely. There we go. So that's some of the main parts of this guy done. We'll get him stuck onto a base, uh, stick his other shin pad on, and then we'll get to work on his arms. So for his plasma pistol arm, I'm going to use a 3D printed plasma pistol I knocked up the other week. And this bolt pistol uh, hand from the Intercessors kit. Obviously you can use any plasma pistol you like. Um, there's some on upgrade sprues and obviously the new Assault Intercessors sprues if you manage to get your hands on those. So it's one of the easiest par easier parts of this conversion. It's just a simple weapon swap and a dab of super glue on the top. Let's take some of that off. Just to glue his pistol on. There we go. One plasma pistol arm. His other arm's a little more complex as we want to add this Lord Relic to four guard, a forearm guard onto this arm here. So we need to cut the Space Marine arm at an angle, roughly about there to there. So I'm just I'm going to do is start by cutting it slightly further up than I need. Test it, trim some more, test it, trim some more, test it, trim some more. Keep going until you've got it to where you want it to be. So I just keep trimming until it fits and I was aiming for a hand and gauntlet type look for this. So that fits pretty nicely there. Then we'll pop a dab of super glue on this end just to fit this mighty chainsaw in his hand. That hand fits really quite nicely in there. And shouldn't look too untoward. So glue those arms to his body now. And pop a head on for him. We'll give him some quick shoulder pads. Obviously these are 3D prints, so they are resin. Just need to use some a double super glue for these. I think actually, looking at this guy in hindsight, I'm going to call him done there. Um, once we've done the green stuff work around the um, the chest and to get this um, loincloth fitted properly, um, and with these much bigger, more innate shoulder pads, I don't think he's going to need any extra pieces to him. So I'm going to stop there, get the green stuff out, and just tidy him up a little bit. And if you hang on a moment, you will see a picture of him fully painted. So thank you very much for joining us once again here at Cock Dice. We will see you again soon. Good night.